What is the real origin of OK? It's the all-purpose expression that can do anything. It can be an enthusiastic thumbs up, an unenthusiastic eh, a way to draw attention to a topic shift, or so many other really useful things. It's amazing that we ever got along without it at all. There may be more stories about the origin of OK than there are uses for it. It comes from the name of a Haitian port, from a Puerto Rican rum, from a battlefield sign for zero killed, or German, Oberkommando, from Scots, och, ay, from Greek, from Latin, or Choctaw, or Wolof, from bakers stamping their initials on biscuits, or shipbuilders marking wood for outer keel. It's easy to come up with a just-so story, but there are word researchers called lexicographers who devote themselves to digging through old newspaper clippings, books, and letters to find real, hard evidence for how words developed and spread. A professor named Alan Walker-Reed researched OK for years and uncovered the true story. It begins in 1839, when a Boston newspaper editor jokingly used OK as an abbreviation for all correct. Wait, how is that an abbreviation? Let's back up. In the 1830s, there was a craze sweeping Boston for the early ancestors of OMG and LOL. People shortened things like it shall be done and small potatoes to be flip and cute. They would mess with spellings to be even more flip and cute. KG for no go, OW for all right. So OK for all correct. Cute, right? But we don't say ISBD or KG anymore. Why did OK stick around? It got lucky because of the heated 1840 election of President Martin Van Buren, also known as Old Kinderhook. His supporters formed the OK Club. It was hip, it was winky, he was old kinderhook, and he was all correct. When things got rough and his supporters started getting into tussles with Harrison supporters, pundits offered their own less flattering takes on OK. It was the refudiate or binders full of women of its day, carried along on waves of press coverage until it was firmly planted on the beach of English where it might have washed back into the sea of forgotten words if the telegraph hadn't come on the scene right then. Operators used it to confirm that signals were coming through. Shorter than message received or everything's working or even yes, OK was right there at hand. After a few decades, it was everywhere, but the origin story had washed away. But we don't need to know the origin of a word to find it useful. That's the nature of language. And that's OK. OK.